Hi, Hugo Reed. We have a nonfiction book. It's part of the Amazing Animals series. This one is Brown Bears. It's by Kate Riggs. Wow, look at that photo. Awesome, isn't it? I love it when they're real photos of animals. There it is again, same picture. Brown bears. It's showing up hiding in the grass, looking around, doesn't it? Ten kinds of brown bears live in the world today. Grizzlies are some brown bears that live in North America. Other brown bears live in Europe and Asia. Grizzly, coastal, and Kodiak brown bears live in Alaska. Looks like this one is hunting for something. And the map here is showing us the different countries. It's kind of hard to tell in this light, but some of those are a little bit darker green and it's showing where the brown bears live, where the darkest green parts are, not the lighter green parts. So they have a fairly big area that they live in. Brown bears do not always have brown fur. Sometimes their coats are black. All brown bears have a big hump near their shoulders. That hump is made of strong muscles. Can you see on here? There's kind of a hump on there. Overall, they're strong, makes them really strong. Brown bears sometimes use their muscles to fight. Well, check out those teeth, you guys. Whoa. And then there's a close-up of their fur and how thick it is, that little tiny square picture. Especially if they live somewhere cold, they would need very thick fur to keep them warm, wouldn't they? Kodiak brown bears are the biggest brown bears. They live in cold places and eat lots of fatty fish. Male Kodiak bears can be 1,500 pounds. Other male brown bears weigh about 800 pounds. So Kodiak brown bears are almost twice as big as the other ones, which is interesting because I always thought grizzlies were really big, but apparently the Kodiak bears are even bigger. 1,500 pounds, that's a very heavy bear. The world's largest brown bear weighed 2,130 pounds. That one would have been huge. It's interesting, like, what do you notice? Their head is really big. Their eyes don't look as big compared to their head to me. Their nose is pretty big, which I'm sure they have very, like, powerful smell, sense of smell to help them both hunt and I don't know that they have many predators, but to know what's around them. Brown bears usually walk or run on four feet. They can run up to 35 miles an hour. Bare feet and hands are called paws. Each paw has five claws. The claws on a brown bear's paws are long and curved. 35 miles an hour is about as fast as your mom and dad are driving just on a normal street around the city. So that's fast. Can you imagine if you looked out the window and there was a bear running just as fast as you were driving? 35 miles an hour is pretty fast, for, especially because it's such a big animal. You think of like cats or tigers as running fast, but bears, they just seem more lumbery to me. And can you see that close-up of its paw and its claws? So five, just like we have five fingers. We have five claws. Brown bears eat meat and plants. Most brown bears eat a lot of grass and berries. Brown bears can smell food from far away. They hunt animals like ground squirrels and deer. Some brown bears catch fish to eat. Brown bears look for fish that swim in cold rivers. Fish that swim in cold rivers would have more fat on them. So like salmon or things like that, because the fish have to have fat to keep them warm too in the if it's cold water because they're cold blooded they don't have anything to help keep them warm so that would help insulate them a brown bear mother usually has two cubs cubs are born in a den this so the den is a home that is hidden bears spend winter sleeping in dens in the spring the cubs leave the den they live with their mother for two to four years 
And it says that as many as four cubs can be born at once. So usually they have two, but in this picture, this mother has four. Do you see all of them? Right? Yeah, four. You see all of them? <laughs> Thought I only had three there for a minute. So just like we have different sized families, they do too. Normally it's two at a time, but sometimes it's more. Adult brown bears live alone. Each bear has a home range. Down here it tells us a home range is an area where animals live that has enough food for them to eat. So it'd be sort of like if we were an animal, what your neighborhood would be. So that was enough for you to get all the food you needed and stuff. Their home range would be however much land it took for them to catch enough animals and find enough food and grasses and berries. Look how beautiful that is. You see the bear back there? It blends in. Brown bears eat plants and look for other food. They walk around their home range. They like to rub their backs on trees. They use their claws to leave marks on trees too. Bears use the same rubbing trees over and over. Why do you suppose they like to rub their backs on trees? Do you think maybe it helps if they have an itch? Helps scratch their back? I think that could be part of it. Sometimes also animals rub on things to leave their scent so that other animals in the area know that that's their territory. So it could be both. If you're looking up information about brown bears, that would be a good thing to research. Why do bears rub on trees? My guess would be that it's both. Sometimes people see a brown bear in the forest. It's a good idea to make a lot of noise. Brown bears do not like surprises. Watch these big bears from a safe distance. Hikers sometimes talk or sing to let bears know they're coming. I think in the wilderness too, sometimes people carry, I don't know if you've ever heard of cowbells. They're um, kind of rectangular shaped and they don't sound necessarily pretty. They sound real clanky kind of bell and they ring them every so often so the animals know they're coming. Because if you come around a trail or somewhere that a bear doesn't know you're coming and suddenly you're there, they might be more likely to attack. Normally, I don't think they're that interested in people, but if they feel threatened, just like all animals, then they're gonna to try to protect themselves. So if you're making noise, they're hearing you coming, and then they're probably gonna leave because they don't necessarily want to be around people. And then this last page talks about a brown bear story. So this is sort of a legend about brown bears. How did bears become stars? So there are some constellations that they talk, constellations are groups of stars, right? That make shapes. There's some constellations that they talk about, big bear and little bear. People in Greece used to tell a story about this. Have you heard of the country named Greece? This is where this legend started. A woman named Callisto had a son named Arcus. A jealous goddess turned Callisto into a bear. One day, Arcus was hunting. He did not know his mother was one of the bears. The king of the gods put Arcus and Callisto into the sky to keep them both safe. So the son wouldn't shoot the mother since he didn't know it was his mother who was a bear. So this other god turned them both into stars. That's how great bear and little bear became stars. Here's another cool picture of a bear out in the water. This is all the water. You can see the moonlight reflecting on it. And that is the end. And here are some websites if you want to take a screenshot of that. It says that there is, um, it also tells about a video clip you can watch on National Geographic and that gives you the information which might be fun to look up and see a little bit more plus I'm sure they would tell you more about brown bears which would be cool so brown bears for this week I hope you have a great week if you have any jokes I haven't heard any good jokes because I haven't seen you for a while so email me a joke remember here's my email any jokes I'd be happy to hear I will see you next week take care of yourselves Keep running around having fun. Keep reading.
See you soon. Bye-bye.